Alright, I'm making this video to show you what in my opinion is an amazing small detail in the nomad life path of Cyberpunk. And it's about Jackie's new arch bike. Oh, damn, what a beaut. Yeah, got her cheap too. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. Which, by the way, is a real world brand founded by Keanu Reeves himself. But anyway, as you just saw, if you play a Nomad, you get a unique dialogue option to marvel at the sight of it. Then immediately afterwards, this time requiring 7 points in tech, there is another Nomad exclusive dialogue where you suggest that he should do some modifications on the tailpipes. I'd swap out that tailpipe if I were you. Really? Why? It's got a mean growl that the chicas just love. What that growl does is tell people a mile out that Jackie's rumbling their way. I'd tinker with the fuel injection too, upload a new map, and slap on some thermal tape till you cobble together enough eddies to get that exhaust modded. Uh -huh. Initially, it doesn't seem like this leads to anything special, however here's the curious part. After the Arasaka heist, where Jackie dies, one of the options you have is to take his body to his mother. In that case, she will call you sometime later to invite you over to his funeral, and then at the end of it, she will decide to give you the keys to Jackie's bike. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, B. Now, in case you play a nomad, and you chose to tell him to make those modifications earlier, you will notice that Jackie has indeed listened to you and modified what you suggested at some point before he died. Well, it looks like he swapped out the exhaust pipe. What? I advised him to do it, right before the job. The bike even looks slightly different from behind. I believe it now has a pair of exhaust pipes on either side, as opposed to a single one. Now I like this a lot, because it requires quite the long chain of events, which is rather unlikely to happen. First off, you have to play a Nomad. What? Then you have to have 7 points in tech here, which is fairly unlikely, unless you dump most if not all of your skill points in it from the start, which is sort of what I do, to be honest. I like my tech weapons. Also, it would be easier if you decided to do a bunch of side content before this point, so you can level up and get some more skill points. However, this is the very first main quest after the intro, so chances are most players will not be very high level here. Now, after all these conditions are met, you must also make sure that you do not take Jackie's body to Vic after he dies, so either take him to his mother or leave him in the car, in which case he ends up being taken to his family anyway. And finally, you'll have to call his mother and do the side quest with his ofrenda whenever it becomes available. And by the way, it becomes available soon after you get Johnny in your head. I think in my case, it happened immediately after I talked to Takemura in that bar. You do not look so bad. Now about the bike itself, sadly, as far as I can tell, there are no differences, other than the cosmetic stuff, you know, the looks. The 7 point tech dialogue mentions the sound it makes. It's got a mean growl that the chicas just love. But as far as I can tell, both the modified and non-modified versions sound the same. They also seem to accelerate at the same pace, and even the maximum speed appears to be the same. Honestly though, it takes such a long time to reach that maximum speed, that I don't think it will matter realistically, even if there was a small difference here. But anyway, that's all I had for you today, let me know if you've done these things on your own Nomad playthroughs, and if not, I say you should give it a try. Alright, thank you very much for watching, special thanks to my YouTube members and supporters, and until the next video, stay tuned and be good. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Oh my god! Shitty. Psycho! But something came to me.